Comfortable housewife at it again. Connect, share, invite your friends, let them join us this evening. <laughs> Thank you all so so much for joining. My Facebook friends are the best. Everyone joining from all around the world. I said, God bless you mightily. Before I go into discussion, let me do my five one one minute prayer. Father Lord, I thank you today for we are here again one more time. King of kings, glory of glory, like I always say, use me to speak and let there be favor in someone's life today in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not here to speak of myself. I'm here by the power of the almighty rest for me to speak to someone today. I'm not here to play God like I said always. I am here to help if it's one so out in any way I can. Father Lord. As I speak today, let it be a blessing to one person in Jesus' mighty name. I pray anyone who is here of no good, Father, give that person something else to do. Like I always ask, let that person go look for something else to do and let us have a peaceful evening together with those who are willing to join and make it a success in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for joining. God bless you all. 
the music you guys just heard just now is from a friend who contacted me from Facebook, an upcoming artist. His name is Lawrence Star, aka the Weke Weke Master, all the way from Spain. This is his single. And if you want to contract him for wedding ceremony, for any kind of occasion, you can contact him through me and he will deliver to you a wonderful wonderful show in your set in your party the music is for both old and young whatever occasion it is the music can pass like you all can hear it just now is for honey the title is my honey my dalio is the name of the is the title of the music his name is lawrence star on facebook lawrence ugiagwe lawrence star ugiagwe is his name on facebook and his stage name is Lawrence Star, the Weke Weke Master. So for any contact, for any kind of occasion, contact him through me and you'll get to him and he will deliver well for you guys. Ugiagbe Lawrence Star is his name and his stage name is Weke Weke Master. As you can see how I weke it with the song just now. It's a lovely song. For those of you who I was able to share it with on WhatsApp and uh, Messenger, Please join the brother and let's make his future bright. With this, his future can be very bright. Let's be part of good news sharing. This is a lovely music that you can share for somebody, you know. You can share this music to brighten someone's day, to make someone's day beautiful. Not only to share stuff that I don't know. So share the music, share the music, people. Let people love it, let people be a part of it. I shared it to many people today, and as those many can share to many, we can get the music out. His name is Lawrence Star Ugiagbe on Facebook, and his stage name is Weke Weke Master. You hear the name alone, you know that. <laughs> when you come to your occasion, the whole place will work very well. You understand? So his name is Weke Weke Master, and that's his new single. Please share the music and let it go viral, and God bless you all so much. So let's get down to today's business, like Lolo always do. This is your one and only Lolo Ofu. You guys know now. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Love you all so much. Today we're going to be talking about married men. Last week we were talking about tips in marriage and today we're going to be talking about the men. I doubt a little more on women. But today I'm going to be talking about married men. Welcome to the house Alex and Alex. God bless you for being here. You know. Today, I'm going to be talking about married men. You see, marriage is a beautiful thing like I always, always say. Marriage is beautiful. And in marriage, we have the head, we have the neck, and we have the body, you know. And the head is the man of the house. The neck, I always call the wife, and the bodies are the children and other family relatives. So that's how... Sorry, guys. That's how I call marriage. And the head of the house is the man. Beautiful evening to you, Doreen. Welcome to the house. I can see a lot of new faces. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys. I hope your time here won't be wasted. And I hope you benefit something from today, today's show. So the head is the man and the neck is the woman. And the other part is the body, family, and all of that. For a marriage to be successful, for a married man to walk around proudly, proudly, you should be able to face up some responsibilities at home. You should be able to make that home a beautiful place for your wife and your kids. Responsibility of a, of a head of the family, it's not all about paying your rent and feeding the kids. Some men see it that way, but to me, and people have come across married, successful married men and women, it's not all about that. Paying your house rent and providing food for your, for your kids, it's not all about marriage. That does not make you a successful and a proud married man, because there is more to marriage than that. A whole 
a whole lot. If your home is sweet, is settled, if your wife is happy, your kids are happy, doing well in school, then you can walk around and say to yourself, I'm a proud married man. You will be a proud married man, but not when your wife is lacking. Some, people, some men also believe in, when I give my wife so much money, she should be happy. No, that's not what marriage is about. That's not what makes you a successful married man. A married man should be the man also who listens to the wife, to that little voice crying out from the wife, saying, oh, my husband, I need you here. I need you here. You are supposed to be my better half. You are supposed to be there for me also. You're supposed to be, be, be my, my comfort, my supporter, my helper. That's what makes you uh, a mm -hmm. successful married man that's what makes you a successful married man and you can walk around and tell people i am a married man and your wife can stand in the midst of the crowd and say man if i die and you come back to this world again i will marry my husband for the second time you know that is what a successful married man it's all about. It's not about you moving around the house and then be screaming, I am the head. I am the head. No. That's not what makes you a, married, a successful married man. Not at all. Because if you are a successful married man, if you are a loving husband, you don't have to remind your wife that you are the head of the family. You don't have to. Because some men, they turn to, to move around and tell to their wife and remind their wife that they are the head of the family. You know, when a man, when, when a man, when a, a man is at home and it seems that he has this urge to remind his wife that I am the head of the family, then you are absolutely not successful. You are absolutely something is seriously wrong in that marriage. Something is seriously wrong. And you can see it on the face of that woman when she's outside that something is wrong at home. That she's not happy. Her husband is not forthcoming like he ought to be. And some people will say wife should be submissive. Some men, they always key to that word. Oh, my network is weak. Why? Don't go there. Some men always key to that word. My wife. Women are supposed to be submissive. Women are supposed to be submissive. I pray men are watching. I pray so too. And if your husband is home, please just draw him closer. Just for even his five minutes, he gets to listen. It's also okay. Some men keep using that one word out of the Bible. Yes, the Bible says women are to be submissive. Yes. Women are to be submissive, so said the Bible. But it can be very easy when the man is really loving. The Bible also said that the men should love their wives. Love your wife, which is very true. But when you love your wife, submission comes automatically. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, you know, men always use that word. Women have to be submissive. But the Bible first said men should love their wife. And when you love your wife, submission is very easy. Every woman that the husband loves so much, the husband forgives her no matter what her faults are, whatever her mistakes are, her husband forgives her easily. That woman will submit to the core. She can lay her life on the ground and say, Walk on me, your, your highness. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my darling. It will be so easy. For those men out there, please. I'm not trying to say I know too much because men really don't like it when a woman have to tell them stuff like this. But I am telling you guys that you can enjoy your marriage when you only can see what is missing. 